following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from St. Louis, Missouri, weighing in at 250 pounds, he is the Apex Predator, the Viper, Randy Orton. Few WWE superstars have fared as well throughout their careers as Randy Orton. Cool, calm, collected, but laser focused. And ready to explode at a moment's notice with an RKO out of nowhere. The mood changes when Randy Orton enters the building. Orton is a volatile superstar that can end a match in an instant with an RKO out of nowhere. A man with absolutely no absence of malice. The phenomenal AJ Styles. When you talk about AJ Styles, the list of accomplishments is seemingly endless. Styles, a true global superstar before arriving in WWE. But since he's been here, AJ Styles has lived up to the moniker. And his phenomenal. opponent from Gainesville, Georgia, weighing in at 218 pounds, the phenomenal AJ Styles. Yeah, it's crazy to think that when AJ Styles made his debut at the Royal Rumble a couple years ago, he wondered if he would even fit into WWE. But obviously he has done more than just fit in. He has excelled at this level. I am so glad to finally have the honor to call one of AJ Styles' matches. No one ever thought he'd ever make it here to WWE. But now, here the phenomenal one is, ready to compete on Raw. As we get in the way, I'm expecting a hard-fought match between these two superstars. First one to make a mistake could fail. If you haven't hit record yet, now might be a good time to do that. Ooh. These guys are going to have a match you'll want to watch over and over again. Oh, look at this. Neck breaker after the float over. That was pretty. see if wrong SmackDown. WWE Jacked is the only WWE program you've seen AJ Styles on before 2016. AJ Styles looking a little out of his element. You don't see that very often. But he's very aware of who he's in there with and what he has to do to rebound. I wouldn't call for the medics just yet, Cole. He still oh. appears to be in pretty good shape here. Michael, that Jack match from 2002 is actually on WWE.com. During the match, Jonathan Coachman mentions how great a prospect AJ Styles was in the early 2000s. See, even back then, Coach was smarter than you. And don't forget Styles' opponent. He fought the Hurricane. It was no pushover back then. At that point, Hurricane had more experience, but Styles almost pulled off a win on Jack. I got right to the gut. Oh my! What did AJ Styles try to do differently at this stage to stay in this thing? 
He doesn't want to absorb much more punishment if he wants to win this match. I'd never count this guy out, but I'll tell you what, he's not looking so hot right now. He's Ouch. really going to need to find a way to get back in this thing. Oof. Nailed it. AJ Styles moved out of the way there. Drop down. Boom, what impact. And look at the front. Good golly, what a knee. Knee drop. That was nasty. So precise. Knee stop. That'll ruin your leg. Right, right on the mark. AJ Styles looks like he's really struggling under pressure. I have a feeling this isn't going to end well for him. He has got to do something quick. Oh, man, AJ Styles may be wishing he was back in Japan around now. Styles will rally. Relax. A quick reversal there by Randy Orton. <laughs> Hold on, guys. This isn't good. No question about it, Cole. Superplex! Oh, man, did you see the impact? What a stomp! Good grief! to stomp in every single part of his body. Just when you thought he had nothing left. Hooked up, back suplex. Set him up with Russian leg sweep. And there are those biting icy eyes, the venomous look of Randy Orton. Ooh. Uh -oh. At the elbow. Oh my goodness, crushing it. I personally think fighting champions are idiots, but AJ Styles hasn't turned away any challengers since joining SmackDown Live. Long distance drop. AJ Styles is setting it up. Looking for a repeat. That's how you wear down your opponent. Oh, I'm going right after the neck. Corey, you said before that his constant defenses are idiotic. But between his U.S. Championship Open Challenge and his WWE Championship reigns, we've seen plenty of all-time classics. Who else but AJ Styles would give Ty Dillinger a United States Championship match mere weeks after his debut? Or give James Ellsworth two WWE Championship opportunities? That's why he's the champ. That runs the camp. He just proved my point. It's idiocy. Oh, what a slam! Landed him. Oh, no. And a reverse DDT. He's making a statement here with this attack. Oh, 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 oh. We know what's coming next. Oh, boy, do we ever. Good night. Here's his moment, Michael. Slam down hard. Randy Orton brought his career to even greater heights by aligning with the authority as their personally appointed face of the WWE. Cover here. You can't teach the type of tenacity we're witnessing here. Unreal. He's showing the heart of a warrior here tonight. 
Looks like Randy Orton has broken a sweat. With these two guys, we all knew this was going to be an all-out battle. Michael mentioned Randy Orton as the face of the WWE. Given his long history aligning with Triple H, it made perfect sense for the game to give the Viper preferential treatment main events, and a lengthy world title reign. Gentlemen, it was so much more than their history that made Randy Orton the face of WWE. Randy Orton has the look, style, and the attitude of a champion, and that is why Triple H made him the centerpiece of the authority for so long. Incredible impact! AJ Styles able to avoid damage there. Such a technician. Randy Orton, no problem in getting out of that one. Boom, nice. Forearms for the second row, driving down. Oh, what a kick. Slam with authority. Debilitating neck breaker. What a stop. Good grief. Incoming. People have been wanting to see these guys go at it for a long time, and by the sound of this crowd, I think they're getting what they wanted. He's calling for it. Oh no! Rick, what a cutter! AJ's in big trouble now. Back in from the floor. Threat down the apron and the point of the elbow right in the nose. Jeez. He's docking his opponent from the top turnbuckle. Oh boy, he is rolling. He can't withstand one bit more. Look out, Dimey cross bump. He goes for the cover. It's gonna take a lot more than that to keep him down. Yeah, and AJ is showing the heart that's made him a champion. Can't teach that. Styles looks like he wants to do it all by himself. AJ Styles with a nice reversal. He's not going to go quietly. No superstar worth his salt ever does. Over 15 years into his WWE career, there were a few firsts left for Randy Orton to conquer. But he found one when he beat Bobby Roode and captured the United States Championship for the very first time. Michael mentioned Randy Orton's United States title win and true to Orton form, it came out of nowhere. After a quickly intensifying rivalry, the Viper beat the glorious one at Fastlane for the one title he had yet to claim. In the process, Orton became only the 10th person in WWE history to become a Grand Slam champion, which requires you hold the tag titles, the United States title, Intercontinental title, and a WWE championship. Another apex for the Apex Predator. If he sticks this, he is done. Oh, nasty impact. Wait a minute. He's positioned up on that turnbuckle. I would not want to be him right now. You have to wonder what's going on. No, it's RKO. AJ's in big trouble now. And Randy Orton makes the cover. Randy Orton wins. Here is your winner. He is the Apex Predator, the Viper, Randy Orton.
10. And Orton walks away with a win. I'm not impressed at all by AJ Styles' effort tonight. Well, I mean, he tried. Guys, it sounds like we can all agree that was an extremely impressive win.